Hey guys, it's Huan He from Play Tennis Singapore. Today's video will be the first video of an 8 part series that involves strength, mobility, as well as conditioning of muscles for your tennis. These exercises will all be home based and you can do it with all minimum equipment. Most of them will be body weight exercises. Um, the purpose of this is to actually help with your flexibility, your agility, as well as power on the court. Okay, with that, we'll be doing the first theme of our video today, which is explosive strength based lower body exercises. Okay, so why is explosive exercise for your lower body important? Okay, there are a few things that you need to take note. Okay, so the first thing you need to take note is how you are going to do your stroke. So if you're going in for the forehand, you will need to push off with your back leg, as well as the backhand, and you're pushing off with your back leg to drive through the ball. Same thing for the second part, how you're going to move left and right. If you need to run to your left, you need to push off with your right foot, Move forward. Same for your right. If you need to move to the right, push off with your left foot. Push. Same. If your opponent hits a drop shot and you need to sprint to the front, same thing. You need to have the explosive power to really run for the ball. So this is why explosive power for your lower body is very important in tennis. Okay, so for today's video, we'll be going through five exercises that will help tone your muscles. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first exercise we'll be doing is jump squats. Uh, this exercise is great in activating the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, as well as your hips. Just bear in mind that when you're doing this exercise to ensure that your knees do not go beyond your toes, you keep your back straight as well as your core tight to prevent any kind of injuries. Okay, and for our next exercise, we have our jumping lunges. This exercise is great in providing explosive power in your tennis. It also helps to ensure that there is no dominant leg that is more muscular than the other. Same thing as the jumping squats. Please ensure that your back is straight, your core is tight, and that your knees do not go beyond your toes. For our third exercise, it is the single leg lunge into knee tuck. We'll be doing this one leg at a time. Um, it is very good to ensure that there is stability in your tennis because you have to keep your balance while doing this exercise. Same thing as the previous two exercises, ensure that your core is tight, your back is straight and that your knees don't go over your toes to prevent any injuries. Up next is the chair assisted pistol squat. Uh, once again, this is a single leg exercise, so it is very good to ensure that there are no muscle imbalances. Um, same as all the exercises before, back straight, core tight, no knees beyond your toes. Okay, and for our final exercise, it is the weighted squat. If you guys don't have any um, dumbbells like me at home, feel free to use anything heavy, maybe a water jug or anything you can find around the house. Um, same thing as before, make sure your back is straight, core tight, no knees beyond the toes. Okay, so for all these 5 exercises, um, you can do around 10 to 20 reps per set and about 3 to 4 sets. So you should be doing for the entire exercise, you should be doing around 15 to 20 sets for the entire thing, which I think is very manageable for home-based exercises. I hope you found these 5 exercises useful in exercising your lower body. Um, my name is Wan He from Play Tennis and, and stay safe.